you know, Sparky the Wonder Dog. He's about nine years old, and um, he was having some problems with his uh, hip. I mean, he got this Medicam. This is actually not about the Medicam, but just as a side note, because he's there, we were away on holiday for two weeks. He came back, and he was just. He was slow, didn't have any energy, wasn't interested, and we thought, what the heck's going on? It turns out that the in laws weren't giving him his medicine, and he had like old arthritis. But what we're talking about here is the lawn. Now, I think it's because of him that I had bear patches showing up, so I got some seed stuff and put it on, and then... We've been gone for two weeks, so you can see where the seed patches have outgrown the regular grass that was in there. Now, it hasn't been cut for two weeks, but I, I see, like all over there, it's all a lot higher than the other. Now, just for fun, <coughs> go over here <coughs> to my neighbor's garden, and <coughs> they've been away on the holiday for close to a month now. And they didn't know where the lawnmower was. And this garden had deteriorated rapidly because of the kids were playing football out here. And so before I left, I mowed it. And they got, if you look at it, it's, it's a little bit higher on this side, but they haven't had any seed or anything. And it was horrible. So I, they don't even know where the lawnmower is. Or very unusual that they don't know how to take care of it. They, Kids were bouncing on the trampoline up there, onto the roof. Social housing were in here. I'll come over here and mow this in a little while, but just you know, so you can see. I don't know what the point is, but it's just something to consider. Come on, Sparkles. When you put seed down, I didn't think about it, is the growth rate stuff that you replace it with. I guess you're never going to match it unless you know what actually the seed is. So right now I'm taking it, got the little fly mower in the highest setting, take off the top layer of all that heavy stuff and, excuse me, then I'll come back and lower it down to the middle, middle section. I haven't decided, I like the little bit longer. my well organized shed threw everything in there before we went and everything's a rush when you're last minute so two weeks in Egypt 90 most days were really close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or close to 40 degrees centigrade when we come back here although this would be a beautiful day in England I've got a sweater on it ain't exactly warm so I don't know. There it is. Get forward for.